Hi lads, welcome to Glasgow, home of the 8th edition of the HSBC 7s World Series. Uh, today I'm going to give you a bit of a demonstration on the Highland bagpipes. So who wants to have a go? Okay. So. I'm a holding it. So the drone goes up on your left shoulder like that, right? So you blow air into the bag. Your top three fingers cover the top three holes. Okay, now you have to blow. I can't make any, any tunes, any melodies. tunes. <laughs> <laughs> Right, who's next? Strewn, you're gonna time. have a go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Up, three fingers three. here. Blow. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Done. You out? Yeah, it's out here. <laughs> right, Tim. Left hand on the top of the chanter and blow. That's all I got. That's all you've got. That's pathetic. <laughs> That is tough. Lottie, yeah. you're the last one. So what do I do? Just blow, blow hard? In. Yeah. Don't and blow then? hard, just blow steady. Okay. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh. oh, you're a natural at it. Lads, you did very well, but I'm afraid the Scots were disgraceful. The winner has to be Lottie. Well done. Well done Thank you. Tim Mickelson, yeah, you know, was pretty good. Uh, really shocked with the Scottish uh, boys and the way they perform. You know, you would expect them to be teaching us some of those uh, those uh, tips, but no, I, I, we're pretty proud of the way we we did today. I don't want to say it, but uh, it was Lottie. I'm not sure how, but uh, he must have had a practice off camera or something. But now nah, he was definitely this. It will be probably the South African boys. You know, some of them are big, big boys and also really huge, big head. So you know, <laughs> it's the, all big boys. So you know, they look scary off the field. Uh, DJ Forbes, his big bushy beard and his bald head just uh, scares me. Uh, there's a guy in our team, uh, Scott Rodell. You might have heard of him before. He's uh, he's not the most aesthetically pleasing character. He's got a uh, really white skin and uh, a pretty horrible haircut. You've probably seen him around, you'll have noticed him. Um, but he's, he's not a very attractive guy. I have to say, in our team anyway, Andrew Turnbull probably. He's a polite man, uh, very good manners. I'd have to say all the refs, actually, just to uh, give him the good looks coming up in the next tournament. Uh, at the moment, a bit of Nicky Romero, um, some Coldplay remixes, <laughs> just generally like remix stuff. Like a lot of the boys in the Scotland team don't like my taste in music. <laughs> oh, I love to mix it up, and you know, I've got a uh, like a quite a bit of a New Zealand ones, Catch a Fire, and all that. But uh, I love my reggae too, so I definitely uh, listen to Bob Marley. Uh, before a game, you know, just to relax and calm down. You know, you always think about family. Um, Toby Arnold, he got injured during the year and he always used to do the Mickey ears for his daughter. So now he's injured out for the year. The boys like to throw it out just to the, um, wish him and his family well and um, hopefully his rehab's going well. Uh, it's pretty rare when I do score, but um, I think everyone that's helped me get to where I am I suppose it's hard when we're touring. Um, boys like to play uh, pranks on each other at the hotel and um, just chill out, I suppose. Um, our trainings are quite hard, so a lot of sleeping's done when we're not training. A lot of sitting on the couch watching TV, just feet up, watching a lot of TV shows. Robbie Burns, he's, uh, his poetry gets me going as well. Without a doubt, it's got to be Willie Wallace. William Wallace, um, 
the defeated English. Um, he was seven foot tall and he had a huge sword. Uh, it, would be, it would be William Wallace. Uh, just love that, uh, that uh, hunger and uh, that pride in him, you know, with the story and all the things we heard from back in the day, you know, that fighting spirit. Uh, and obviously here in Scotland, you know, uh, definitely that's at the back of my mind and yeah, Willem Wallace would be the one. This would be the impression to be in, mate. <laughs> that's it from us. We'll see you on the weekend.